The Revelation File Report is a production of Wallywood Ministries in Houston, a nonprofit tax exempt information and education ministry. We invite you to be a part of this work and we thank you for tuning in. We do occasionally use uh, copyrighted materials such as videos and other information off the internet and from YouTube and other sources. And we are looking forward to moving forward with you in this. This is our disclaimer and we thank you for tuning in. I'm Wally Wood, I thank you for joining us today. We're going to take a deeper look into the area of digenomics and how it's affecting the world. Um, <clears throat> accesspaymentsystems.com says that, <clears throat> excuse me, in an ever-changing technological world, physical money and credit or debit cards may become obsolete. These old fashioned ways of paying for goods and services may be going the way of the older trade systems, end of quote. And this was in their May 2023 report. You see on the screen certain publications that have come out talking about the end of money. <clears throat> Wired Magazine, 2010, Money Wants to Be Free. February 2012, the book, The End of Money. The End of Cash, May 2019. Paul McGuire's book in 2008, The Day the Dollar Died. The Economist told us to get ready for a world currency. And central banks are turning to central bank digital currency, and this was reported in 2020. So we are moving rapidly in these areas. The Guardian, Cashless society draws closer with only one in six payments now in cash. The American banker, Visa sees cash use drop worldwide. CSA, the study, global cash usage drops as mobile wallets surge. Payments industry intelligence, global payments report, trends in global payments. NCR reports, Cash trends in a digital world. The biggest payments trend of all is change. And then there's Visa, central bank digital currency and the future. Visa publishes new research. Now more than ever, governments around the world are focused on me mechanisms for jumpstarting growth and providing financial relief to people, businesses, and communities. In this context, interest in central bank digital currency, or CBDC, has accelerated. And as we often do, we provide you the addresses <clears throat> of these sources that you can go back to if you want to uh, come back to this report and capture those addresses and research this for yourself. Visa's chief executive, Al Kelly said, we are focused on putting cash out of business. He made that statement in 2017. And indeed, they are helping to lead the way toward an all digitized economy. Tech.com, are we on the verge of a cashless society? This came out in May 2nd, 2023. Digital spending is reaching new heights in 2023, but does this mean going cashless is right for your business? The concept of a cashless society has been around for decades, they say. But with 80% of payments in the U.S. now being made digitally in 2022 and four in 10 of us ditching change altogether, research suggests that the transition from physical currency could take place sooner than we once thought." End of quote. Quoting Mario Almonte, managing partner at Almonte PR, today you can actually conduct all aspects of your life without ever spending a single dollar bill, end of quote. And this is one of my favorites. According to McKinsey & Company, only one in 10 U.S. dollars in circulation today is a physical note, the kind you can hold in your hand or put in your wallet. The other nine are virtual, end of quote. So we are definitely moving rapidly into a global grid system for our global economy. Investopedia, a series of pages that you can go to and read up for yourself on cryptocurrency and how it is evolving and how it is, cash is no longer king, but cryptocurrency is fast emerging from the multiple different kinds of cryptocurrency that there are. 
Investopedia.com. And they say the bottom line is this, as cash transactions become increasingly rare and more countries evaluate the benefits of digital currency, the number of central banks issuing digital fiat will only increase, end of quote. NFCW.com, European Central Bank draws up plans for a digital euro app for contactless and QR code payment. So again, everything is switching to digital. The digital euro is not an option, but a necessity for Europe, they say. A central bank digital currency, or CBDC, is a digital form of cash issued by a nation's central bank. Quoting, digital forms of currency are already widely used today. When you swipe your debit or credit card instead of your using cash, or when you are paid via direct deposit, the associated financial institution must digitally record the transaction and update your account balance. Interest in CBDCs has skyrocketed in recent years. According to the Atlantic Council, an independent think tank headquartered in Washington, a total of 87 countries are exploring issuing a CBDC as of March 2022. Less than two years prior, in May 2020, only 35 countries were considering a CBDC. So the interest is growing worldwide in making the switch into a total digital currency. Cash will soon be obsolete. Will America be ready? The New York Times asks. The European bankers on digital euro, as the headline appeared in April 27th, 2023. Belarus to decide on issuing CBDC by year's end. Considerations for a U.S. central bank digital currency, April 2023. Swedish Riksbank report potential e-corona. CBDCs bring unknown consequences to financial system, according to the IMF director, February 2023. These are other countries that are looking seriously into this matter. Israel, India, England, Brazil, and Australia. So this is not just an American phenomena. This is a global growing evolution. MSN News say goodbye to fiat currency. Zimbabwe's central bank introduces revolutionary digital gold tokens. And there's the address you can go to. The Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe plans to introduce a digital currency backed by gold reserves held at the central bank. This move is part of a broader strategy to stabilize the Zimbabwean currency with the goal of anchoring the Zimbabwe dollar to the country's gold reserves. The digital currency will be available for use as legal tender within the country, and those holding small amounts of Zimbabwe dollars can exchange their money for digital gold tokens. Have you ever heard of such a thing? Digital gold tokens. The RBZ's move toward a gold-backed digital currency follows a global trend of central banks exploring a digital currency to improve financial inclusion, reduce payment fees, and make money smarter. Russia, for example, is working with Iran and China to create clearing platforms for cross-border settlements in gold-backed digital currencies, with the goal of moving away from fiat currencies like the US dollar and the euro. And here you can go to the bitcoinmarketjournal.com to read up on gold-backed tokens and digital gold. I'm reminded of a book, my very first book in 1974. I researched it in 72 and 73, and it came out in 74 and a second edition in 77, and having to do with a cashless society, a world without money. And what I want to bring your attention to, when I designed this front cover, there were no black stripes on any cards. The debit card did not exist. The credit card did not have a magnetic stripe on it. And yet, we designed a card with a stripe. We also made note of the fact that this was starting to reach into the global network even as I was writing this book. 
Just recently, we found a copy of my book on a Dutch website, and they printed the entire book in Dutch. And it was a brand new copy, it appeared. A, a, a friend of mine bought it and had me autograph it this past year. And just blew me away that they would even have a new copy because this book has been out of circulation now for 30 some odd years. And yet this Dutch website picked it up, reprinted it, and told the story of a cashless society that was coming, dating all the way back to 1972. In there, I talked about what I call the world of CENCOM. I told the story of the Wilson family living in a cashless society and how Mr. Wilson would be paid electronically and Mrs. Wilson would use her plastic card to go to the grocery store. Well, the internet didn't exist in 1972, so I called it CENCOM for a central computer. And quoting from the Wilson family's story, to better understand life within a cashless society, let us look at how a family will live and work under such a system. Assuming that today is payday for the majority of workers in the city, we will observe Mr. Wilson as he goes to work and Mrs. Wilson as she does the weekly grocery shopping for her family. Now it was in this book that I made this comment concerning the card that she would be using. Quoting, it's important at this point to note that Mrs. Wilson's number is not visible on her plastic card. The privacy of her number is vital to the security of the entire system. The number is not visible. Well, in recent times, we're there. CENCOM came out and became the internet on February 26, 1991. Two very popular magazines, Popular Mechanics and Time Magazine, called it the Information Superhighway before it was ever known as the internet. And that was 20 years later. MasterCard and Uno Digital Bank offer numberless debit card. And this was announced in December of 2022. How they're coming out with cards with no numbers. A numberless debit card to address security concerns, just as I addressed in that first book back in the 70s. Financial Express, numberless cards, <clears throat> no visible number or code on the card, <clears throat> excuse me, enhances user security. And here are examples of the cards that are already in circulation with no numbers. The Guardian, bank cards, where have all the numbers gone? Fails. Numberless bank cards could be the future. Here's why. Baronite. Numberless cards. Is it the future? The cashless payment economy is booming worldwide as people increasingly use their digital wallets and payment apps on smartphones to make purchases rather than swipe their bank cards or pay with currency notes. A unique digital payment solution has been witnessing great traction in recent years it is, it, it is none other than numberless cards. And what you're going to see now, please notice the card that's being used has no numbers. This was in September 2021. Global Diginomics Update. Hudson is one of the leading travel retailers in North America with over 1,000 stores company-wide. Hudson Nonstop is our first contactless store powered by Just Walk Out technology by Amazon. This is the Dallas Love Field Hudson Nonstop store. It opened in late February. It was the first nonstop store to open in an airport. It's a little under 500 square feet and one of many to come. Customers are more and more looking for contactless ways to shop. They simply scan or tap a credit card to enter the store. That creates a virtual cart for the customer. The customer goes around the store, selects the items they want. If they don't want, they can either set them down or just put them right back on the shelf. As they exit the store, their credit card is then charged for those purchases. The response has been incredibly positive. People are very intrigued by it. How does it work? How does it know what I'm getting? How am I paying for it? Just walk out. It was very seamless. You come in, you choose what you want, and you walk right out. Fast and easy, fast and easy. <laughs> 
Didn't have to worry about, you know, ringing up or any of the time consuming things. I've never seen anything like it before. The innovation serves our customers in a variety of ways. First and foremost, people want to get in and out of an airport store quickly. We obviously give them the convenience of the waters, the snacks, the travel items, but we also have the ability to offer things that they didn't know they were looking for. High end electronics, souvenirs, a gift to take home or something that they just picked up on their way. This technology has changed our employee experience. We have turned our cashiers into customer service associates. They are now there to engage the customers, to help them with their shopping experience, and really it's more of an interactive process. The partnership with Amazon has been very, very productive and very easy. This technology gives us a competitive advantage. People are looking for this now when they're coming to us trying to seek us out. But the support from the Amazon team was incredible. From training, through store construction, through setup, Amazon partnering with us the entire way. This Hudson nonstop concept with the Just Walk Out technology has given customers and employees in the airport something to look forward to. It's new, it's different, it's innovative, and it's nothing they've ever seen in an airport before. President Biden issued an executive order 14067 on March 9th, 2022. We've already covered this in a previous program, establishing the idea that America is moving toward a cashless cyber currency society. He issues a crypto executive order, and this was issued from the White House on that same day, putting in motion the official sanction toward a cashless moneyless system. On March 14, 2022, will the U.S. have a cryptocurrency? What to know about Biden's bid for a digital dollar? U.S. digital dollar news. Is America moving to virtual currency? What is a CBDC? The digital currency could be introduced as early as 2025 in this country. The Digital Dollar Project, we invite you to take a look at this and you can go online and download this document into your system. It's uh, produced by Accenture and there's the address and it's a uh, multi-page project review of the evolving Digital Dollar Project in this country. And again, we bring focus to uh, Mr. Kelly's comment for Visa. We're focused on putting cash out of business. So there's the address, the digitaldollarproject.org that you can go to and follow up on this for yourself. Panera Bread's Amazon powered pay by palm tech hands convenience another win. This, this was announced on May 26th of 2023. This week, sandwich and shop chain Panera started rolling out Amazon One technology at two of its restaurants near the company's St. Louis headquarters. A quick contactless service, Amazon One lets customers pay by scanning their palms. It's based on biometrics. <clears throat> Panera hopes that the new feature will reduce customer waiting times and make it an even more convenient and efficient casual dining destination. Back in 1981, we called it Wave Pay Technology. Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how Wallet More Implant works in real life. After ordering a drink, food, or any other product, all you need to do is tap in your hand to the payment terminal. Forget about the cash, card, or even a smartphone. All you need is your hand. Wallet More Implants are biosafe, secure, ultimately convenient, and they are globally acceptable. Wallet More is a wallet of tomorrow. Get into the new era of payments and get your implant now. The evolution toward a fully digitized money system. And it all started right here in your Bible. Revelation 13 is the most high-tech chapter in the Bible, I've called it. Everything in that chapter requires advanced technology to be fulfilled. And verses 16 through 18, Everyone, both rich and poor, free and slave, was required to receive a number in their right hand or their forehead, without which no one could work or sell. You need high technology to accomplish that and to fulfill it. 
And I am amazed <clears throat> that this type of world was visualized that far back thousands of years ago. In John 14, verse 29, Jesus said, I have told you now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you will believe, end of quote. So this is the world we're moving rapidly into. And there's little room left for skepticism anymore and doubt. God is making this thing very, very fully plain and clear. These things were prophesied generations, decades ago. And, oh, decades, how about centuries ago? That's what I'm trying to say. It never ever entered the mind of man what the future was going to hold. And it's right there in your Bible. And so the only thing that remains now <clears throat> is do we believe it or not? Jesus Christ is coming back. And he set forth the timetable, the scale by which we could determine that. He said that generation that saw these things would not pass away until all had been fulfilled, which had to be fulfilled before he came back. And we're there. So this is not a time for me to determine what we must do to prepare for those changes. There's a lot of uh, ideas floating around and suggestions on getting into gold and placing your money in this, that, or the other to try and escape the hold that a digital currency is going to have over us and the central control of it. Well, I don't subscribe to any of that. Even the Bible has a lot to say about the uh, holding of gold and silver in the last days. The point is, Jesus is coming back. He's coming back in the lifetime of that generation. And we're part of that generation. So I would invite you, the listener, to pray like you've never prayed before, not for a solution, but for the Lord to be dynamic in your life at this time. The digenomic world of cashless society is right around the corner. And within the next 24 to 36 months from this date, the world may very well be experiencing the total abolition of currency, replacing it with a digital system. And you saw in that last report, even things like embedded chips is becoming very popular in Sweden right now and in other countries to inject a chip in your hand that will allow you to wave your way through any store, any bank, any business and do financial transactions and payments using just your wave technology or your biometrics. So I don't mean to, to be a bore at this time or uh, throw a bunch of information that you've probably already heard, but this is the time to take videos like this, programs like this, and show it to those that you feel need to hear this information. There is a path that's been stretched right out in front of us, and we're on that path. I thank you for listening. I'm Wally Wood, and we look forward to seeing you at our next report, and there's more to share coming up. Thank you for watching. You've been watching the Revelation File Report with Wally Wood, a Wally Wood Ministries production from Houston, Texas. You are able to support the ministry by donating at wallywoodministries.com and by mail at Wally Wood Ministries, P.O. Box 42005. Houston, Texas 77242. Wally is available to present full two-hour forums in your city called the Revelation File News Forum. For more details, contact Amy Valdez at 713-560-3348 or by email at andy at andyvaldez.com. The Revelation File News Report is a weekly update of global trends in the news as it aligns with end-time Bible prophecy. Tune in again next time and be sure to like and share this channel.